He will be like, eh, it's what you Everybody will notice him first. A parent at the top of their game. Twice he won the World Champs and four times he won the Sea Games. Forrest received a lot of awards and we are one Michelin restaurant. A child following in their footsteps. Many people, oh, your Chef Samson, oh, you must be very good. What happens when it runs in the family? I want them to be a champion and build their own legacy. It's no more about us. It's about our children. My name is Jo Leong. I'm 26 this year. I specialize in pastries and desserts. I do every single thing from production, do regular cakes, to fine dining desserts. I grew up in a family of chefs. My grandfather was a chef. My father is a very well-known chef. My auntie, my uncles, all somewhat some sort in the F&B industry. So I've been exposed in the industry ever since I was born. I joined V Zook V Dining in mid-July. Joe managed our pastry. He's mainly in charge of Haiti, so he came out with the idea of the team and the desserts. Morning, morning. After you finish everything, you go help me. I give the recipe, everything as well. Yeah, can. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. See you later. See you. My mom and my grandmother, they were always in the kitchen, cooking lunch for us, cooking dinner for us. I would usually sit inside the kitchen with my hands over there, oh, waiting for food. My mom would always do this snack for me and my brother growing up. So it's just like slices of banana with a slice of cheese, eat it as a snack before our uh, lunch or dinner. We love it growing up. She just wants to involve us inside the kitchen. Oh, you help me look at the fire. When you see that bubbling already, bubbling, you stop it. Ah. Then, oh, okay, okay, okay. Then I just over there. Mommy, 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 ah, fire already, fire, 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 fire. Then it's off it, off it, I don't know how to off. <laughs> That's how I grew up in my family, just watching my parents cook, my mom cook. Other kids growing up, they don't want to do something similar to their parents. So similar to me, like I had interest in tennis and music, I wanted to do that. I didn't expect to be a chef. When I was in secondary three, that was around the economic crisis. A lot of people was losing jobs. So my father sat us down. He told us, like, reality. He said, oh, people are losing jobs. Uh, you should try to find something you're really, really interested in and focus on that. I started at 2 a.m. Dessert Bar, I think year 2010. That was my very, very first job in the pastry. I went on to Fairmont Suites Hotel before going to Intercontinental, Tipling Club, Back in 2016, when I first met him in Tipling, he was very quiet and shy. He really grew a lot out of Tipling Club, and he came out with all his dessert, which wows customer. He evolved the chocolate tart into a modern interpretation, which no one can expect. Like, how can chocolate tart be so nice? Uh, later, you help me do a small portion of meringue. I think 50 gram, 50, 50. Yeah. Just let it boil. Yeah, let it boil first. So when 100, you turn off and add the butter? Uh? Yes. I turn off the temperature, then just mix it until fully blended, then let it cool down. Okay. Chef Joe got that kind of charisma that when something is very boring, he can make it very interesting. No matter how bad his day are, he still smile. 
For me, I can't even do that, honestly. If I got angry on some mistakes that my staff do, I will flare at them. But for Joe, he don't. He calm down himself down. He still be very patiently teach you how to do all the things that he want you to do. I really respect him on that. Hey guys, morning. We are launching our new high tea menu this Saturday. So, chef, can you give us a break a breakdown? So the new high tea, the, the theme for these uh, two months will be herbs and spices. We reduce the item, then the price also cut down. So we can focus more on qu quality rather than quantity. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Hello, hello. Thank you very much for coming. So here we have your dessert. That one is textures of chocolate. At the bottom, we have a smoked Irish chantilly, followed by white chocolate crumble. Okay, enjoy. <laughs> hey, how's everything? Whenever I reintroduce, right, we will say that it's Sam Leong's son, yes. Yeah. Because Sam Leong's everybody remember him, <laughs> we know him, yeah. Uh, uh... Mm. We got some guests came in and said, Chef Joe Leong, Leong, is it Chef Sam Leong San? Then they were like, wow, I finally get to see you in real life. He feel a little bit reluctant to answer because people will tend to ask a lot of questions because of the name that he have, the surname that he have, and the reputation that he have also. Chef Joe was actually introduced by Chef Lee, our head chef. First of all, I rejected him because I didn't know about Chef Joe. But later on, I come to know that he is Sam Leong's son. So knowing Sam Leong, he is a very humble guy and very down to earth. Even he has win Michelin stars. I can see the similarity with him and his father. That's also one of the main reasons I hired him. Forest receive a lot of award. We have Forest, Open Kitchen, a total dining experience restaurant. We are one Michelin restaurant. It's proud Chinese restaurant we can reach this level. Hey, I'm Chef Sam Liao. I've been working in the Chinese kitchen for the past 30 years. Many years ago, I was traveling a lot as a guest chef. So I cook a few nights. After that, I went to the restaurant and eat. I like the way the French, they're serving individual plating. But normally Chinese food, we serve family style, from the traditional to now. Family put everything together, enjoy it. That is the fun of eating Chinese food. So then I asked myself, can Chinese food serve like a Western, individual plating? Ah, nothing wrong. Get the idea, put it in the pocket, come back to Singapore, and then I start to do a, a set menu. Ah. It works. That's how I start 25 years ago. Sam Liu. Sam Liu. Many outside the world of the world will give him a big hand. Give him a hand. Of course, it's 100. People do notice. My dad is just smoking. Oh, everyone. I was shocked when Chef Sam came from our back door. Is that Sam Leong? Who are you looking for? I'm uh, looking for my son, Joe. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, that's Joe is Sam Leong's son. I can't escape who my family and what my background is. When I first joined 2AM Dessert Bar, I went in with zero knowledge, but I went in with connections. My dad led me to my first job at 2AM Dessert Bar with Janice Wong. Definitely, people say, oh, just because you're Sam Leong's son, oh, you get into this place very easily, oh, you rise up the position so quickly. But many people didn't see, like, people work eight hours, maybe I work 12 hours, people work 16 hours, I work 24 7. So, like, just try to meet up to their expectations. 
It's hard, definitely it's hard because of the pressure. Bomberman, very easy to play. <laughs> we just hanging out because uh, it's my off day. Usually I'll spend with Wen Xiang or my wife. I've met Joe, I think, since 20 years ago when I was in uh, primary school days. Xinjiang always see the Wen Xiang in my home, come to have the snack before dinner time or on weekend. We, we love to together. He has been always there for me. We share our laughter, our problems, our life. Ah. still remember the time, I think the first few weeks or first few months in Peitong, we, I bring you to the store one, we eat guava. Yeah, I didn't even know what is a guava. At that time, he's trying to pursue his career. Ah. So he's playing guitar, he's playing tennis, he's trying to earn money from it. Ah. And kitchen wasn't one of the choices. A few years later, I found out that eh, he's actually inside the kitchen already. <laughs> so it came quite a shock to me. 15, 16, 17 was the really working non-stop. Uh. So my social life all gone, everything all gone. My friends, I almost all of them lost in touch already. So the only person I really keep in contact with once in a while is Wen Xiang. Uh. It came quite a shock to me because I know that 9 out of 10 of the chef would not want his son to step inside a kitchen because it's a tough life inside. I think your dad didn't really no agree. <laughs> My dad, one day he sat me down, he talked about shelf life. Because in music and tennis, it's not easy to make a name for yourself. Let's say if I make it in a tennis career, what can you do? Tennis coach? I don't see myself doing that. Music, you might play music for 50 years till you die, no one will notice you at all. So he say, why don't you just try something more stable? The first time I told my dad, I want to jump inside the kitchen, I want to be in the kitchen, he got so angry. Our life is 8 o'clock until 12 o'clock. We don't see family. Have family, like no family. Sam, this time, has been in the world for a year. 离开家人这么久，现在总算有点时间想家了。I think almost every graduate, almost every celebrate, even though the birthday is me and his friend, that's it. Only Chef Sam never in the pictures, not even one. Even Chinese New Year, usual family don't have because we are Chinese restaurant operating. At that time, it's our heaviest in the years. So we never celebrate together in the family. When we were younger, like primary school, secondary school, how we usually celebrate Chinese New Year is to bring Yu Sheng back, run to everybody's door. No, 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 wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Come out, eat something, I prepare something. Then all of us will come to the kitchen, the, the dining area, we'll uh, low hair, just a very, very quick supper, then go back to sleep. My life is kitchen or home. There's no other place I go. Can't do much thing because my responsibility in my work too much. That's why I never want my children to come to culinary. But I don't know why Joe ended up. <laughs> Joe! How are you? I have nothing to do, I pass by. So this is uh, basically this your working yeah, my, area. my work area, my workstation, chocolate. chocolate. Wow. I played all dessert, everything here. Okay, okay, please, first time for me here. Yeah? My dad, uh, he don't like pastries. I don't think my dad has done pastry before. I didn't see him even touch it before. So we're launching the new high tea menu this weekend. So I have a lot of things to do. You free today? I'm not a, a dessert fan, but see what I can help. I have nothing to do. I'm free today. For this recipe, only four ingredients. Eggs, sugar, sugar, gel cream, lemon juice. Actually, this morning, I squeezed already. A lot. Of. <laughs>
This one a lot more, Joe. Okay, la, about 400, 500. La. When I was apprentice, every day 20 liter. Not lemon, Joe. It's calamansi. You know calamansi is so small? This is nothing, Joe. If my dad got an opinion about my dessert, he said, you do this, you do this. Uh, don't mess it up for me. You mess it up, it becomes my fault. Chocolate good chocolate stir, la, where you got tiny one? My father is boss. My father is king. So everything he says must go. <laughs> Chinese kitchen. Normally we don't use such a small mm. blender. But this one cannot lift up, huh? Uh can lift up during, but it's very dangerous. You know normally what what I, what we do, uh, mm? let's say okay, we don't lock it, yeah? See, you, you start with slow. Mm? Normally we you know we if we can move, you know, we move a little bit. Mm. You see? You see, it's dangerous. Sometimes yeah. people are not sure. Yeah, they're gone. correct. You just a bit better. So I, I, I prefer safety first. For well, doing pastry, need a lot of patience. Yeah. Slowly, you know. Mm. So a bit different culture. It was interesting because I never really cooked with my dad before. So especially doing pastries with him, which he never really touched before, it was a different side of him that I see. Because usually when I ask him for advice or cooking, he will be very strict with it. So for pastries, he have to do it my way already. So it's something different, something good. I'm impressed. How can you come up with this lemon? My wife, she loves lemon meringue pie. Oh. So when I do this dessert, I think of her. Thank you. It's my blessing to have dessert from you. But I didn't learn what you teach me just now. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. I'm not a fan of dessert to learn. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. First time really, really interact with you. Sometimes... It's a good time to spend with the children. Three years ago, my mom gave us a call. If my mom called, it's definitely something serious. My mom said, oh, your dad has cancer. It's good that I have a camera. I keep take pictures every step, every day, every week if I have the time, so I can keep in memory. Three years ago, I checked a doctor. Doctors uh, have some information and do a test. My mom gave us a call. My mom said, oh, your dad has cancer. A week later, after his checkup, he told us the news, stage four. It shook the whole family, myself, and then quickly go for treatment. Yeah, don't wait, wait time. I really stopped all my work. Normally, all my career working, I out for my house, 8 o'clock morning, and then I come back before midnight. This is the first time of my career that I do nothing. Just every day, after treatment, come back, rest. Then I only noticed, oh my God, I stay in this house for the past 18 years. Then I look at my balcony, I look at the view. Oh my God, I can see Chinese garden, I can see Jurong Poi, which I don't have the time to do that. Who yeah. cook, cook you or me? Uh, you. Uh, no, cook a tomato. Oh, yeah, yeah, smell like the Yeah, yeah, smell. Such a long time ago. Mm. When this happened, oh, we thought that he might be gone next year. So all of us just grew closer as a family. We are still busy with our jobs, but we try to spend more time together. My dad just gave us a call. Are you free today? Yeah, off today. I want to have dinner. Yeah, we definitely go dinner with him. You remember what the first dish I taught you? Hmm? I know dessert like tiramisu. Ah, tiramisu, yeah. It's not making me. Eh? Not making. 
today we are making steamboat, uh, something simple. I cut the vegetable and fruits. My grandmother prepared a sauce. Not often that I get to eat dinner with my parents. Catch up what's going on the past two months. Okay. okay, on the fire. Yes. Oh, have the yeah, chef try the super. Huh? We all chef, like everyone chef. Mama oh, also chef. The broth is passed. Yay. Okay, let's see. Mama. <laughs> Cancer may be a signal to let me know that you should slow down a little bit to appreciate more. And now I have time for my two boys, but it's very difficult to put the family back, even though now I have time. This is occasion. I calculate. Uh, <laughs> after Mary, uh, not even more than five times. Really, really. I don't have this blessing that to sit down dinner with my family. During Joe and his brother was in school. Half in the dinner, one phone call, I need to go back. I put down the chopstick, I need to go back. This one is my son, the childhood. Every day, eat after the school, never fail. His brother and himself. I don't know if he can remember not this dish. Later, we present to him and see how. Jojo? Ayo. <laughs> what is that? Banana and cheese. Baby snack. <laughs> <laughs> when the last time you eat that? No. <laughs> Papa, I don't know. I don't know if you have eaten it. That's why I look him up. Nobody served me. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, no. Come, come, come. 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 Joe have his own talents, very different from Chef Sam, different mindset and thinking. Joe have find his own way and path to do, which we are very proud of him. Now everybody know Joe Sam Leong. I didn't teach him what to do. I just give Joe some guideline, learn, see. But when you reach certain stage, you get enough experience. Whatever you learn the past. 10 years when you are 20 to 30, now is the time for you to show off. My dad is a role model. He is very passionate with his work. I want to do something similar like him, how he taught us. Like, don't give up halfway, try to focus on one thing, work hard, be humble. He gave us shelter, he gave us food, gave us a nice life. Now all of us grow up, he might be a grandparent soon, never know. Thank you. 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 Thank you.